Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Anat, the fierce warrior goddess of the ancient Near East. Join us as we explore her powerful mythology, her role in Canaanite religion, and her lasting influence across cultures. Let's uncover the incredible story of this mighty goddess. Anat is one of the most significant deities in the ancient Near Eastern mythologies, particularly within the pantheons of the Canaanites, Phoenicians, and Ugaritic cultures. She is often depicted as a goddess of war, love, and fertility, a rare combination of traits that made her both feared and revered in the ancient world. Anat's origins can be traced back to the Bronze Age in the Levant region, particularly in the city of Ugarit, a coastal city that played a central role in Canaanite culture. She was considered one of the key figures in the Ugaritic pantheon, where her relationship with Baal, the storm god, was one of the central narratives in the region's mythology. In the Ugaritic texts, which are among the primary sources of Anat's myths, she is described as a fierce warrior and a protector of her people. One of her most famous exploits involves assisting Baal in his battle against Yam, the god of the sea, and Mot, the god of death. Her aggressive and unstoppable nature in battle earned her the title of the Virgin Warrior, symbolizing her untamed and independent spirit. Anat was often depicted wielding a sword or club, emphasizing her martial prowess. She is frequently shown standing triumphantly over her enemies or engaged in acts of war. This image contrasted sharply with her other role as a goddess of fertility and love, where she was associated with the cycles of life, death, and rebirth, as well as the nurturing aspects of life. Anat was often depicted wielding a sword or club, emphasizing her martial prowess. She is frequently shown standing triumphantly over her enemies or engaged in acts of war. This image contrasted sharply with her other role as a goddess of fertility and love, where she was associated with the cycles of life, death, and rebirth, as well as the nurturing aspects of life. One of Anat's most important relationships in mythology was with Baal. She is often depicted as Baal's sister, although some interpretations suggest she could also be his consort. Their relationship was essential to the stability and fertility of the land, as Baal was the storm god responsible for rain and agriculture, while Anat's protection of Baal ensured the continuation of these natural cycles.
One of Anat's most important relationships in mythology was with Baal. She is often depicted as Baal's sister, although some interpretations suggest she could also be his consort. Their relationship was essential to the stability and fertility of the land, as Baal was the storm god responsible for rain and agriculture, while Anat's protection of Baal ensured the continuation of these natural cycles. The worship of Anat spread beyond Canaan and Ugarit, particularly to Egypt, where she was venerated during the New Kingdom period. Egyptian pharaohs invoked Anat as a goddess of war, seeking her favor in battle. She was particularly associated with the pharaoh Ramses II, who adopted her as his personal protector. The worship of Anat spread beyond Canaan and Ugarit, particularly to Egypt, where she was venerated during the New Kingdom period. Egyptian pharaohs invoked Anat as a goddess of war, seeking her favor in battle. She was particularly associated with the pharaoh Ramses II, who adopted her as his personal protector. Anat's enduring legacy as both a goddess of love and war highlights the intricate and multifaceted nature of ancient mythological deities. Her prominence in the pantheon of the Canaanites and neighboring cultures reflects the values and beliefs of the time, where gods were often depicted as complex figures who embodied the full range of human experience, from creation to destruction. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the powerful goddess Anat, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content on ancient mythology. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let us know which mythological figure you'd like us to cover next. See you in the next video.